Hi, my name is Laura Hamilton and I'm doing a courtesy snake removal here at my mother's house. This little guy who's under this decided he would very much like to go inside the house. And in fact, I don't know why we didn't do this. That would be brilliant, huh? Just to do all this and have him go inside the house anyway. Uh, once she opened the door and a little, little uh, California king snake decided he'd just go in there and make himself right at home. Now, um, based on my mother's description, I'm expecting to find a California whip snake under here, also known as striped racer. And so uh, from the name, yes, you can tell they're fast. I don't, I've only seen a few and I've only ever caught one. So I got to catch this one. Based on its external appearance and similarities to garter snakes, I fully expect him to turn around and then nail me and musk me, both of those things. I'm gonna be as gentle as possible. And uh, when we release him, I'm not sure where, it'll be in a good place. If you put that rubber rattlesnake in here, <laughs> I am so gonna kill you. <laughs> Okay, just so you know that, all right? No, it's a real right. rattlesnake. <laughs> all right, here goes. Um, oh, take the rock off first. Okay, here we go. Set the rock to the side. This is not the best thing for my back, but let's see. No, this is a garter snake. This is a, a, a valley garter snake. Um, they range up into this level, the foothills. Garter snakes, uh, musk. And boy, I'm getting already smelling it. And he's barely musked me. And boy, see that? See that dark spot there? Uh, that's just, that's part of his musk. And you can see that most of it's clear. But they'll poop on you a little as well. Anyway, these uh, valley garter snakes range up to alpine level. And about there, that's when the Sierra garter snakes mostly take over. Look, isn't that gross? Look. Get in closer, Mom. Look at the red scales on his side. Um, he's, he's not the same color handsome. as when I saw him before. <laughs> He changed colors on you. Okay, let's go ahead and let, let me get the musk off my hands, and then we can do a little bit more video. Put, put him in the uh, All right, hang, in the container. Good plan. This is a California Valley garter snake. Scientific name: Thamnophis sertalis fitchi. The reason my mom thought that he was orange in coloration with the stripes is because they flatten their bodies out in order just to show those little red scales along their sides. And uh, red is a warning color. It's, it's aposematic. And it tells other creatures, don't mess with me. I'm poisonous. If you eat me, you'll die. In the case of a garter snake, this is not true. So what it's doing is it's, uh, it's, it's mimicking animals that do have, or that are poisonous, and thereby getting protection from that. That's called Batesian mimicry. There's another kind of mimicry where the animal does have the same toxins as the animal it's trying to mimic, and that's called malarian mimicry. So when my mom caught this little fellow, he was all flattened out, and his, his little red shell, uh, scales were showing big time, and he was trying to prove that he was something big and tough, but he's not. He's just a young garter snake. Not very old at all. I'd say he's, um, oh, maybe a yearling, maybe a little older than that. Even though these snakes are really gorgeous, uh, they're one of my least favorite snakes to capture because they almost always musk you. And it, oh gosh, it's just, it's disgusting and it doesn't wash off easily. Um, so I'd almost rather be bitten. This species of garter snake is more likely to bite than most of the other colubrids I've caught. Garter snakes have a mild neurotoxin in their saliva. 
based on personal experience because I've been bitten by them so many times. I believe they also have an anticoagulant in their saliva. The wound really isn't that serious, but it just continues to bleed and bleed. Valley garter snakes prey on slimy things. Fish, tadpoles, frogs, worms. Because of this, their teeth are proportionately longer than a colubrid of the same size. Perfectly harmless little fellow. We need to find him a place where he's not going to go inside mom's house. That's the last, last thing she needs. Garter snakes give birth to live young. They don't lay eggs. And also, the female is much larger than the male. And uh, the males form some, and her, when she's ready, form something called a mating ball. And they all ball up together. And then one lucky, one lucky uh, male gets a chance to have sex with her. And then when he's done, he sticks a mucus plug inside of her so that nobody else can mate with her. <laughs> so... Um, there are more males than females have been my, uh, and I've only caught a few females and I was just like surprised how huge they are compared to the males. Thank you.